and uh, as far as uh, uh, the dimensions for the length are concerned so flow is coming from left side and the important thing is that uh, the bend starts from here and uh, since this is 90 degrees bend so this ends over here but here requirement is that uh, as per the figure given in the reference paper the x should start from here and the end section should be along the x-axis so this can be along y-axis or z-axis whatever axis you want to choose uh, but only thing is that that the vertical length or this side should be along x-axis and the x should be starting from this end of the band so uh, if you take a look on the dimensions so 50d becomes 50 into point so d is d, d is equal to point zero 0.01 so this becomes 0 0.5 meter and uh, 20d is equal to 20 into point zero 0.01 is equal to point 0.2 meters okay so now we have all the dimensions like we have the dimension for and uh, we can make this geometry either in design modeler or in space claim the files i'm going to provide you they are uh, the geometry was designed in the design modeler uh, but in the videos i'm going to show you the geometry making in space claim and uh, since you know about design modeler from the many workshops which i i have covered in this course mastering ssc every level one so you can very easily figure out that the, that how to make this geometry in design modeler and i encourage you that you should be making geometry in both softwares so that you can master your skills in both of these softwares okay so we start with uh, with uh, space claim so i'm going to open space claim so right now make a new geometry from here and uh, I will be now right now I am the in the in the sketching mode so I will go directly and uh, I will choose the sketching plane as XY so to choose XY you have to hover on the Z axis and then click okay now click on the Z axis from the triad and this will orient your 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 plane in the in the simple parallel to the your screen okay so I'm going to make the two lines, one line over here. And before that, before we make these things, you have to go to the file menu and from here, space claim options. Okay, and uh, from units, make the length as meters and okay. And now if you take a look here, you can see that the RC is equal to 0 0.02. So this is 0 0.02. And this is for the cent, uh, uh, the center line. So this is equal to 0 0.02. So therefore, I'm going to make the lines two lines of length equal to 0 0.02. So click on dimension. Point zero 0.02. Okay. And uh, similarly, either you can make a line or you can directly make a curve from the sweep arc. So choose the center point, origin point, the one point on the line, second point on the y-axis like this. Okay. So now you can trim this line because we don't need this line and uh, you can make two more lines. So one line is the line for the inlet section of the pipe that is equal to 0.5. And the second line which you can make from here, the second side of the 90 degrees band and uh, the the outlet section is equal to 0.2 meters okay now you can go back to the 3d mode and uh, make a new plane either you can choose a sketching mode and you can choose a plane exactly on this line okay but uh, i i would be i would be rather i would be i would prefer to make my own plane here so exactly on this point so this point will be now origin for this plane and we can make the circle directly from this center point so again i will choose the sketching mode and this would be the my plane so click on the x-axis 
and uh, make a circle and the diameter should be equal to how much the diameter for this is equal to 0 0.01 this is the diameter of the pipe so 0 0.01 and and the 3d mode so and the 2d mode and go back to 3d mode so now we have the one circle and also you can delete uh, plane so we have the one circle and we have the path for the sweep so we can now sweep this surface to make the 3d pipe along these three curves so from the design menu i'm going to choose the pull command and choose my the main geometry of circle and then choose the sweep path and simply drag so this the maximum extent of the drag would be the length of this arc this is the best thing about the sweep arc that it will only extend up to the the length of that particular geometry and similarly i will be choosing the end of this uh, pipe will this will be a some simple surface i will choose a path which is the band here and just move your mouse so you you can move mouse downwards or on this side this this doesn't matter okay then again i will be choosing the surface here and the path here and even you don't need to zoom your whole geometry here you can just hold it and you can make the geometry of the full length is a point two now so the only last thing which we have to do here is that number one thing is that you have to save the file in your working directory so it's 90 degrees bent okay one minute so this file is already open here so i will close this file and uh, save this file with the same name 90 degrees bent okay now uh, there are two more things i have to do here one number one is that uh, the geometry should be along the x the end and the outlet pipe or the end of the pipe should be along the x-axis so click on move triple click on geometry to select everything in the model and then move your anchor point on the origin okay so i want that this part should be along the x-axis so i will move this by this arrow and the angle would be 90 degrees so type from your keyboard and press enter key okay so now you can see that this is along the along the x-axis uh, only thing which i want here the distance uh, from the origin to the center of this pipe because this will help me in making the mesh not the mesh but the coordinate system for the mesh so this center point is up to the point zero two this is up to the point this is same which is uh, rc okay so it's a point zero two just keep this thing in your mind so we move the model along the uh, x-axis and also uh, requirement was that the end of this band should be at the x is equal to zero so this second requirement also fulfilled the last thing is to make the boundary condition so from the design menu click on select and this is the wall number one okay simply put the name as a wall one and this is the wall number two and this is the band nine degrees band are simply band and this is outlet and then we have the remaining boundary that is inlet okay now simply say project and close your geometry app so the next thing is that we have to open workbench so let me do it in this video so simply open workbench and then you have to import geometry and make mesh and run the simulation so in the next video we are going to cover the meshing part